we're coming back here. Weird is always better than boring. I'm sure that you'll agree. And therefore, I'm also sure that you, like me, spend your evening right, stressed as a French aristocrat, shouting obscenities at reruns of Dale Winton's symphonies. I'm going the shit out of these bitches. Listening to Norwegian contemporary folk music. Oh, I mean, we were alike. In fact, I also go as far as to bet that you like Oh, okay. So that didn't have any effect. Okay. Occasionally, however, even the most well-known names in the game. Okay, but that one did. Whatever. Creative to release something a bit different from the usual. It's this kind of bravery that needs to be applauded, even if it doesn't always go to plan. After all, how would the game industry progress if nobody could risk? Logos are in fact binted. Spin-offs to sequels and even expansion packs. Don't touch me. I fucking dodged, you bastard! Oh, fuck nuts. That fuck... This is some bullshit. I somehow did that rum so much worse. So got my axe rounds. We're gonna be Gucci, we're gonna be Gucci like this Gucci. Gucci like this Gucci. Or possibly already released. That's Fuji Beach. I'm gonna ask around you, motherfucker. Sorry if it's just come out. Ask around you, motherfucker. Shot all gun. Shot all gun. Shot all gun. Ask around. Shot all gun. Shot all gun. Shot all gun. Oh, did I waste my shotgun shells? Um, can I blow myself up? Will that bring me back to my tip? I don't know who you're referring to, but that is not me. Oh, 
Fantasy may be surprised to learn that Ruthless.com is a turn-based virtual board game where you play as the CEO of a software company competing with rival corporations for dominance. But don't be expecting anything fancy with Ruthless.com as what you're seeing is basically everything there is. The game itself is now abandonware, so if you're wanting to get to go for yourself, it should be too tricky to find a copy to download legally. Hooray! However, I say again, there's really not much to this thing, which is partly why it makes it into this list. Now, while it's not technically in the same series as the Behemoth franchises of Rainbow Six and Split mm. Cell, Christmas.com is still a Tom Clancy video game based on a Tom Clancy book, so it still makes it into the list. The next entry is number seven, Far Cry Blood Dragon. Yay! This one's got Far Cry in its name. It definitely counts. If you were to tell me in 2012 that the next standalone game in the Far Cry series was going to be a tricky parody of cheesy 80s action movies, then I would have snorted with derision in general direction. Alright, that's fair. To Far Cry 3, Blood Dragon ditched the serene jungles for a neon wasteland and pounding electronic. Don't beams. touch me. That's bullshit. I couldn't get the. You get out into the dystopian post nuclear world to track down rogue agent Colonel Slow. We're in caution, we're in caution but we're Gucci. Like a portmanteau of the two. Okay, you get it. Is the game I mean, we may potentially not be Gucci. Yes, is it good? Because like, they may just well, one hit kill me. But we're gonna find out. So for Blood Dragon to take everything yes, back around, we're good, we're good, we're good. This world is something that deserves attention. The only problem is the length. As it was Notice just if it kills them. A la Red Dead Redemption's Undead Nightmare, it was only intended as no. a short side experience to the main game. Number six, okay, Mega just... Man X Command Mission. According to Wikipedia, there are 130 Mega Man games. That is far too much Mega Man. Due to this sheer volume, some things about the okay. gameplay were bound okay. to change over time. I wasn't able well, to do that better though. It came out with two anyway, shotgun shots. However, the vast majority of games in that 130 count were either remakes or just sequels and spin offs in the same Wait, action. Let's not fucking die style. here. One game does stand out though, Mega Man X Command Mission, the franchise's only real- Oh my fucking Christ! I didn't even see him. ...like Mega Man Star Force and Battle Network flirted with the RPG genre, it was Command Mission that went all out of the concept of the stage. Having oh. all the traits of a traditional turn-based JRPG, Command Mission was far removed from the fast action platforming of its Mega Man predecessors. Unfortunately, the game was met with a resounding meh from critics, disliking its linearity, lack of difficulty, and tedious repetition. The cell shaded art style was quite pretty though, even if every area did look exactly the same. The attempt was admirable, it was even loved by a particular section of the Mega Man Faithful, but the resulting experience ultimately left a lot to be desired. Total War Warhammer. Admittedly, before Total War Warhammer was announced, you looked at the tactical battle sim and wondered what their take on your favorite franchise would be like. Star Wars, Lord of the Rings, and other established works have had their dalliances with the RTS genre already, but we all like to see the masters of the epic battle creative assembly take them on. Warhammer's release was a surprising one, though. Not for the fact that it was a Warhammer licensed game, there are plenty of those. But for the focus being on their older fantasy brand, rather than the newer alien battery that has grown in popularity in recent years. Fortunately, though, this book is slightly more changed in tone. Total War Warhammer and its sequel were still really good, reviewing just as well as fellow Total War battle sims and 